Hey y'all, it's Brandon from Voodoo Forge. Now, you remember that cool twist wrap thing I did with the angle iron in the last project video? I'll put the link to that video down there somewhere. Well, uh, we're gonna make it into a door pull and there's a little bit of fortune. Honestly, there's not much. Just putting some hammer marks and, and, uh, and kind of breaking the edges on the bottom pieces. So not a lot of forging. Uh, but this will just give you an idea that you can use on, on uh, forged and fabricated door pulls from uh, here on out. So let's get this thing going. Okay, here are our materials. We've got uh, the uh, eight and a half or so inch piece of twisted angle iron. It. It's uh, twisted from one inch, quarter inch thick angle iron. And I'll put the link to the video on how we did this in the description down below but that's going to be the main body of our handle and everything else like i said was just scrap um, this is a quarter by one inch three inch pieces uh, and this is a half inch square inch and a half pieces and this is how this thing is going together more or less so this will be this will be welded to the half inch pieces and the half inch pieces will be welded to the flat stock the only real forging in this video is I'm going to uh, break these corners and put hammer marks on this flat stock before I drill them. They will be pre-drilled. So let's get the forge lit. center punching these to drill the holes. I'm just eyeballing it. If it's off a little bit. It's not the end of the world. You can see these are still pretty hot so I'm not touching them a lot. Uh, I kind of fish lipped a couple of these but it, it kind of gives it a feature. Uh, you know it, it adds to it so there. See the, the fish lip here. It's not ideal, but it works for this particular project. I've got my hole drills in my uh, attaching brackets. I've got to weld the uh, half inch square stock on next. I've got this piece in the center, got a magnet holding it. Just gonna MIG it in here real quick. It's one down, time to get the second one. I'm just going to spot this.
All right, gonna let that uh, cool off a little. Gonna clean up a couple little spots here and there with a the grinder, and she'll be done. Okay, this is it. Um, this is our uh, our door pull. It's got plenty of room for my hand, so with a lot of room left over, so everybody ought to be able to get their hand in there. Uh, what we did with the uh, flat disc was just kind of hit the high spots, and I uh, also did this where we forged our uh, hammer marks around on the, on the base, and it gives it a contrast. Uh, a shiny to dark contrast. Now if you hit this with a, a clear coat, a polyurethane, or a, or a different clear finish, it'll hold on to that. So, uh, but that's it. That's our, our finished door pull. And you don't necessarily just have to use this uh, type of door pull with, with this twisted angle iron material. You can use uh, all kinds of different pieces to do this. Now, is it... Um, is this a 100% hand forged piece? No, no, it's not. But what this is, is a, a forged, a hand forged and fabricated piece. Um, is, it, is it better than mass produced crap? Yes, it is. Is it uh, one of a kind? Yes, it is. All right, well that's our door pull. So uh, hopefully that'll give you some ideas of uh, some things you can do uh, with different twists or just, well, any material you, you can come up with that you can grab onto. Uh, now, the next project video, um, I, don't, I don't know when it'll be coming out, but the next project video, I'll be doing bamboo or a cane forged out of Schedule 40 pipe. Uh, it's, it's a really unique effect and it, it also has a bunch of different things you can use it for so that'll that'll be coming keep your eye out uh, anyway if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and if you like the video please hit the like button that helps me out if you'd like to see more videos like this please subscribe to the channel all right y'all behave yourselves now